Hi there, how's everyone doing today? I thought I'll make a video. When is a time to let go of an employee? And it's never an easy task. It's never something most people want to do. I personally don't like it. I like it because I know there will be weight off the shoulders after that person no longer there and it will help the overall team culture. So in that aspect, I do like it, but you know, it's never fun the, um, delivering the news or actual time leading up to it. But what are the signs that maybe it's time to speak to the employee and maybe it's time to tackle workplace culture? First of all is when you notice that someone is disengaged or productivity is down, you want to wonder why. Are they not doing well in their personal life? Do they have health issues? Do they just got comfortable and don't want to put harder work in anymore? That brings me to another point. Um, is someone is not willing to grow and learn. Uh, they complain about any sort of uh, classes or continuing education or training that is needed to do for their career and profession. That is a sign that maybe that's the person that you don't want in your organization because it will be affecting other employees in the company as well. Another very important point is if someone is the center of drama, like someone is a figure where they always get involved somehow, whether it's regarding them or not, they're going to have two cents to say about every situation. They're going to know who did what, when, but they're not going to do it in a productive way. They're going to um, mostly be talking behind people's back and trying to stir the pot because they have nothing better to do, nothing productive to do. That is a really bad type of an employee and uh, those type of people are really difficult to change. So it's best to uh, remove that type of worker from your establishment. The other thing is uh, when you start getting customer complaints, co-worker complaints. If once in a while everyone gets some negative feedback from someone, that is totally normal. But if it's a recurring theme, there's something going on and there is no smoke without fire usually. So if you start getting those, that is also a red flag that something's going wrong and you might be losing customers and revenue because of that employee. And uh, the last point I like to cover is policy violations. If someone does not respect or follow the policies, if they are acting entitled, the policies don't apply to them, like they don't have to follow. Like sometimes that can happen to even people that have been a long time in the organization. Or it could happen to someone new that came from another workplace and have um, perhaps many years of experience and they think that all this basic stuff doesn't apply to me uh, or someone that's new but they're not willing to learn the tricks of the trade they're violating the way things should be done it's time to let that person go let me know uh, any specific stories uh, you have to share about when do you know that it's time to someone let go to let someone go and I, uh, I'm really looking forward to hear that and I'll see you next video. Have a brilliant day.